All right, Elvira's with us uh, for this this part uh, for the Who Gives a Hoot video. Uh, just a couple quick questions for you, Elvira. First one is uh, you're coming from Europe playing soccer, and what drew you kind of back to the United States to want to play professionally again? Uh, yes, I mean, I was over in Europe. I was in Slovenia for a year and then most recently in Germany. But, um, yeah, I got in contact with Jay. I wasn't too happy at my, at my old club there in Germany. So uh, I was in contact with Jay, and he said he was really interested in having me come back because he coached me in college. So um, the opportunity came, and it was when I couldn't uh, – Got and uh, let go by and come back to Omaha here and play in front of these, front of these fans where I'm, where I'm used to playing. So, yeah, that's awesome. And I mean, just like you said, you played your college soccer at Nebraska Omaha, and yeah. during that time in 2018, you got your first cap for Bosnia, your home country. Right. Um, can you just talk about that, that those moments and what you felt like when you got to put on the Bosnian jersey when they played when you guys played against the United States that time in 2018? Yeah, so we'll start off with when I got the text that I was going to be called up. So it was in December, and I was just in my, uh, I was in my dorm room and uh, here in Omaha, and I got a text, and they were like, yeah, there's a possibility you're going to get called up. And I was like, oh, shoot. And then uh, the roster came out, and I got called up. And I was still training with UNO at the time, and then uh, they had my flight and everything ready and flew down to L.A., met with the guys, and uh, trained. We had three practices down there and uh, played against the U.S. at StubHub, where Galaxy plays. And, yeah, I got subbed on in the 83rd minute, and it was just – it was amazing. It was 15,000 fans, most of, most of the uh, U.S., but uh, <laughs> well, it, was, it was a cool experience, though, playing in front of uh, all those people and against those top-level players. So it was a great experience. Yeah, it was cool. I remember being back in Omaha and watching you do all that, and I was really impressed. It was really cool to see. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so two more questions. One more uh, about your time in Europe. Um, so a lot of Americans don't know anything really about Slovenia soccer or even like lower tier Germany soccer. But what's one like misconception or something that a lot of United States soccer fans uh, don't know? Yeah, I mean, the level over there, especially in Slovenia, it's the first division. Any first division in Europe is, is a top level. So it doesn't matter what country it is. If it's Slovenia, Slovakia, Czech Republic. Bosnia, Croatia, doesn't matter. All those first division teams are top teams, and they're getting looked at by all the, the top five leagues, like England, Germany, Italy, all those, all those big clubs. They're, that's where they're, they're looking at. They're scouting those players. But, yeah, the level is super high. It's very professional. So, yeah, my experience in Slovenia was very good. It just unfortunately came to a bad ending. But, uh, yeah, my time there was amazing. Awesome. And one, one last fun question for all of us. You know Jay Mims probably better than anyone else. Can you give us some funny, funny story to let us in on who Jay Mims really is from your time at UNO? Okay. Um, funny story about Coach. I don't know. Uh, no, he's always just been a, he's always been a good guy. He scouted, He came and watched me first when I was in Kansas City, and it's not a funny story, but it's a cool story. But uh. He texted me and he was like, I'm going to come watch you play. And I was playing for a club in Iowa. We were playing against Sporting KC's Academy. And he came to, to recruit me. And uh, I ended up scoring a first half hat trick. And after that, that's when I committed. So our relationship started there. It was probably 2015, 2016. And uh, ever since then, but just staying up, guys. Great coach, great person. Glad to be back with him now. So you got to score a hat trick every single time you play for him. Then. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Elvira. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us in this yeah. segment. It was awesome. Hey, thank you guys so much.